This right here is the X5 wireless microphone system. And this basically, they made these for microphones to make any microphone wireless. You just plug this, the receiver has a receiver and a transmitter and you plug it inside of the, uh, the microphone and then the other end you plug into a mixer or something like that and then you will be able to use any microphone wireless and that's dope. But they also can be used to make wireless speakers. And that's why we are here. We're gonna test the parameters of that and see how it works out for you. This is what it says on the back of the box. It says it's a 2.4 gigahertz band. You can use up to six units at a time, less than five milliseconds of latency, up to five hours of battery life, which is pretty good. But uh, some, some people say that you get more than that, but I wanna see you know what we can get today 20 hertz frequency response works with xlr dynamic microphones and battery power condenser microphones no high resolution 24 bit 48 kps audio dynamic range is 110 feet so you probably get 100 feet 90 feet out of this right here with a straight line of course they have a microphone input on see if you see that i'm blind take care of yourself it has a microphone input and a Line, uh, 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 a line input. You see that? You see the power? You see the line in the mic? That makes this uh, 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 the difference from some of the other wireless systems out there. It comes with a charger right here. Now this charger right here is a double charger. So you can charge both of them at the same time and it is micro USB. It also comes with a manual, you know, uh, comes with the you know FCC stuff that need to come in there you know let you know about the electricity and stuff like that it comes with a sticker which I love swag swag and then it comes with uh, you know the car and lastly it comes with a case nice case for you we got our setup right here we got our Yamaha MG 12 XU mixer we got our ipad with dre beats on the boards yeah i got my own beat smith the best beat smith in the world my son okay so we got our speakers right here we're gonna plug it up to the speaker right here right and then we're gonna use that speaker we're gonna test to see when we jump it from here to from this speaker to that speaker to see what what you know what happens to make sure it works you could bunny hop it so instead of using two receivers we can use one receiver and have another receiver for another speaker someplace else so let's hook it up we have our transmitter right here which is a female xlr which will go into your mixing board right here all right so turn the power on here's the power right here and this is the mic line inputs this button right here is to change the channels it has six different channels that you could change the frequency for so let's power that up right there as you see we're on channel one all right let's power up the receiver just one button right here powered up we are on channel one so now let's plug this up into here our mixing board all right all right, that's in there, nice and snug. Now, let's take this and plug this up into our ZLX. All right, now the receiver's plugged in there. You see this green light? This green light right here is the power. It says from 30% to 100% is when your power, it, it, you'll, it'll be green like this. And from 30% it, and below, it'll turn red. And then once you get 10% and below, it'll start blinking red. So you know it's time to either change it or, you know, take it out, put a wire to it. All right, so here we go. We got our, our mixer's already hooked up. So let's turn on the speaker. Pro tip, make sure you have all your levels to zero. Turn them down every time. All right, now let's turn this up some. Not too much. See, we got it turned up. Everything's connected. Let's play some Dre beats. See what we got.
dear. Let's turn it up some. So it's working. Now, we got it working out of here. Now let's see what happens when we plug the out to this speaker into the into this speaker right here. Let's get that right. So we got the output for this speaker right here going into the input of this speaker over there. Let's check it out. All right. Oh. It's working. It sounds good. It sounds good. No distortion or anything of that matter. Sounds good. All right, so that was a good test. It works. It works pretty good. But we're gonna we have one more test that we're gonna do down here. Well, a couple more, but we got one we're gonna do down here right now. So we got another set that we ordered. So we got another set that we ordered. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the we're gonna use both sets as a left and right on the speakers. So let's see how that works out. All right, now we got an issue right here. We got a problem. So now these two, the um, inputs, uh, the outputs are not spaced far enough from each other. I can't put it in here. So, you know, it's too big to be put in. That's what she said. So now what we have to do is we have to take something and we're going to have to rig it. I'm not going to say what we say in the hood rig it, but we're going to have to rig it. So what we had to do is we took a small XLR cord and put it into it and that's going to work. So keep in mind that your mixing board may not be big enough. I've saw mixing boards that had the uh, outputs or the inputs for space far enough to where it could work. It depends on your board. All right. So now we got that in there. So now let's plug this up, which is the receiver into the back of the other speaker. We got it in there. Let's go. Oh. So we got our left and right channels. So we know the X5. And these are the UV, U3, I believe. These are U3. They got another one, the U2. One is can be used for condenser, and the other one can be used for dynamic. So uh, the U3 is the one that has the line mic input that we need to use. We got my helpers right here helping me. So now, point of view. Okay, we got, it's still plugged in. Come on over here. Everything's still plugged in. Everything's still plugged in. We have the two receivers plugged in. So we're gonna take this upstairs about, we're gonna take this upstairs about 30 to 35 feet, two stories. So come with me. back downstairs music is playing turn the volume up don't forget we still plugged up down here too all right this is working let's go upstairs and see what we got i hear something let's turn it up we plugged in no xlr let's turn it up respect the recording but anyway that's about 35 feet 30 feet up there because about 15 feet to a one one story house so that's the second story up in there in the attic so that's a nice good 
range right there and there is no line of sight. As you can see, ceiling, two ceilings, and it sounds pretty good. So one pro tip, make sure that you put the uh, transmitter into line instead of mic because uh, I had mines in my, my mistake and as I turned the volume up on the eye, the, um, the pad right there with the music, I started getting some distortion. But as soon as I turned it out of mic and put it into line, it went fine. So line is either, I think it turns the decibels down uh, 10 decibels, turns it down 10 decibels or something like that. So, which is good. So let's do this. We're gonna take the speaker that's right here well, that's all right. We're gonna take that speaker and we're gonna take that downstairs into the basement. And then we're gonna see how it works. We're gonna go from top, we're gonna go from top to bottom. All right. All right, we push play. We got the volume up. We're gonna take, take the basement. Try the basement set. The basement with Big Tigger. Let's turn it up. It's still working. Let's run upstairs real fast. We got one more test we're gonna run. Now we have this speaker right here hooked up, all right? See? You're making noise. They gonna, they know it works now. But listen, this is what we're doing. We have this, we have the speaker right there, making it wireless. That's a Samsung, that's not wireless. And we have the speaker right here. And we have it hooked up right here into the X5. So now, Dre, yes. go ahead with your singing. Yeah. All right, it's working. Yeah. It's working. We're still wireless, two ways. Yeah. Wireless, two ways. We're wireless with the microphone right here. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're wireless with these speakers. Yeah. Give me a thumbs up. Do you recommend they buy this system? Yes. So now we're gonna use it for what it was really intended for right here. And we're gonna do a small test right here. So now we got the transmitter hooked up and then we just got the receiver just going into the speaker right here. Let me show you. Right here. All right, we're on the same channel, channel two. So we're gonna just get a little range. We got my daughter right here, Dre. She's going to use her camera. Okay, start recording. We're on the fly. Okay, we're gonna walk outside. Just give me a yell when it starts to break up, okay? Okay. Just yell nice and loud. Okay. All right, mic check, one, two. Mic check, one, two. Mic check, one, two. Mic check, one, two, okay? We out of the house, mic check, one, two. Mic check, one, two. Mic check one two. We got a nice park over here. Mic check one two. Mic check one two. Mic check one two. Mic check, mic check one two. Strictly for you, Drea. Strictly for you too. Strictly for anybody who's listening. Strictly for the new subscribers that's coming out. Mic check one two. Mic check one two. This is how we do. Stay with me. Stay with me. We're walking pretty far right now. So, they say 90 feet. I know this is at least 90 feet right here. And if she start yelling, I it can't hear stopped. it. It stopped. So, turning around. We're gonna check it out. So, I highly recommend that you either look into or purchase these X5 wireless, they, they even be calling wireless dongles for either a microphone or for a speaker right here. They work pretty good. They work on a 2.4 gigahertz range. So therefore that's the same range that's Wi-Fi. So if you have Wi-Fi things around you, be careful with using it. You might get some feedback or some uh, cross uh, reception. So change the uh, channels on each of them, whichever ones you're using to 
eliminate the prospect if you're getting anything like that. Highly recommend these X5 wireless microphone receivers, transmitters for speakers and for microphones. It's DJ Books, Simple DJ Life. Peace.